how to do multicam in Final Cut Pro. Now, multicam is one of the more powerful options, I think, in terms of anyone that has to edit, say, maybe more complex projects where you have a bunch of different camera angles. This includes things like wedding ceremonies or different concerts of some sort. And in fact, some of these Final Cut Pro tutorials I've put together for YouTube. So I figured it would be a good idea to just go through a quick example of how I set up multicam workflows in Final Cut Pro and how you can do this for your own projects in just a few quick steps. So in Final Cut Pro here, I'm going to first start just by creating a brand new library as I do for essentially all of my projects. I'm just going to call this multicam example here for reference purposes. Now when I make the library, you'll see it creates an event as well, which by default is just the date that I created the library, which I think is fine for this purpose. And we're going to create a new project as well, which I'll just also name multicam example here. And I think 4K resolution, 24 frames a second should be fine for all of this, so we'll click OK. Now what I'm going to do next here is just import all of the files that I want to set up in a multicam workflow so that we'll have everything imported and ready to go. So after clicking on the import window, I will use this particular example video here. And I know that we're going to bring in these three clips, so I'm just going to hold the command key down as I select these clips. In this case, I recorded audio from my lab microphone. I know this underscore D option here is a minus 12 dB safety track, which I don't need, so I think I'm just fine to bring in this. Now I will create proxies for these files that I bring in. And if you're curious about proxy files, when to use these and how to set this up within Final Cut Pro and some of the different options around that, I have a separate video on my channel that I will link to right up here that you can watch to check out more on that. And so now let's click on the import selected button here. All right, so now that our proxy files have finished generating, we are ready to begin this multicam setup. Now again, the ultimate goal I'm trying to accomplish here with this multicam setup is to make a video that essentially looks very similar to, well, some of my other previous Final Cut Pro tutorials, where essentially I will have a main shot, which is this talking head portion that you're seeing now. I will have sort of a separate cutaway shot that shows my screen and the screen capture there, possibly with a picture in picture window, which we'll also do in a separate part of this video. Video, and also have a separate audio portion which we're capturing using this lav microphone that will itself be part of the multicam setup. Now just to run through the actual clips themselves, we have again just the audio track itself that I mentioned that came from my lav microphone. We have essentially two clips that show the talking head portion of the video, which I think should be interesting in terms of demonstrating how multicam works and can sync up all of these angles even when there are gaps in audio and or video. And then we have the actual screen capture portion of the video itself. So the first thing I'm going to do here is actually get my different camera angles set up so that the multicam, once we do it, will work as we expect. And so what we're going to do first here is basically give each of the different cameras and technically angles that we're going to use for the multicam a dedicated camera angle and camera name. We'll use numbers in this case to assign the angles because this is what's going to allow us to quickly cut our footage using the multicam setup and just using the different number keys on our keyboard. So for this first clip here, which is C02, we're going to go over to the info inspector here, as you can see. And we're going to basically say for camera angle, this is camera angle one. And for camera name, this is camera name one. Now, once we've set this up, we're going to want to do the same thing to the other talking head video, because again, though it's a different clip, it's going to be part of the same camera angle. So again, camera angle one, camera name one. Now, what we're going to do for our screen recording, which we will call camera angle two, is, well, a very similar process here. So for this, we're going to do camera angle two and camera name two. Now we're going to make the audio file its own camera angle, even though we won't necessarily switch to it, but this will still be helpful in terms of setting up the multicam and having different tracks that we can use to assign the audio. So again, very similarly for the audio track, we will set that and then go over to camera angle and set that to number three here and camera name to number three. Now, once we have all of our angles technically numbered and all the different clips assigned with this, we can now create the multicam. So what I'm going to do here over on the left-hand side is hold the shift key down and just select all of my different clips. Again, I could do command and select the different individual clips if I needed to as well. And then right click on this and you will see there is a new multicam clip option and we're going to select that. So in this case, I'll call this multicam example. And we can create this in the same event as everything else. And one key thing here is to ensure that we have the use audio for synchronization checked off. This is what's going to sync the audio between all the different clips. And we will click OK. And now as you can see, Final Cut Pro is going through the process of synchronizing all the different camera angles. And so we'll let that complete. 
And so now you're going to see we actually have a multicam example, not the project itself, but with these little squares that denotes a multicam clip. So a few interesting things I'll point out with this multicam clip and how you may want to work with it in Final Cut Pro. First things first, I'm going to just drag this down into my project. And what you're going to see here is, of course, it's just showing what looks to be one of my angles. It is showing audio from that, but it is not necessarily showing me the full extent of the multicam. However, once I double click on this, I now see the full multicam setup. You can see that first angle there. You can see the separate audio track for my lav mic, and you can see Final Cut Pro there as well. Now, once I zoom out here for a bit, you'll also see that I have the separate audio file here. I have the two different talking head files with the break in between that I used when I actually shut the camera off. And then I have the one single screen recording as well. So because we synchronized audio, Multicam was able to match everything up, even in cases when there's missing audio or video and can really organize all the clips so that they're seamless between each other. Now, one interesting thing I can also do if I want to is essentially adjust certain elements of the clip just at this multicam level so that once I start cutting it up in the project, all of the things will still apply globally to that clip. For example here, I can take this and if I wanted to, for whatever reason, decide to crop in and use a slightly different framing for this shot, I could do that. So we're just going to demonstrate that here. And we'll say this is an adequate crop. And you'll notice with the first clip, it's a little bit more punched in compared to, say, the second one. Of course, I can also just Command C and then do a Command Shift V to copy that specific crop onto the other talking head clip. Paste that in and now you'll see the crop on both of these clips are identical to one another. And again, when I go back out to the main project, we have the crop respected there as well. Now, to better see the multicam setup that we just created, what you'll want to do is actually just do Command Shift 7. And this is going to bring up the multicam window that will allow us to see all of our different camera angles. Now, of course, one thing you can do is switch the different number of angles that it shows. Because we only have three really going here at this point, I think the four or two by two grid view is a good option. And you'll notice as I start to browse along here that we see the different angles pretty much that show the different parts of the project as I'm going through it. Now, the powerful part of multicam here is the fact that basically from this point on, because we've numbered all of our camera angles and Final Cut Pro synchronize everything, what I can now do is start to play this back. And just by tapping the different number keys on my keyboard, I can start to cut this multicam sequence up. So right now we're on camera angle one, but say I want to cut over to camera angle two. Well, I hit the two key. And now I am back in my editor and we're looking at camera angle two. Of course, if I want to, I can then flip back to say camera angle one and cut that as well. And so this makes actually doing different cuts between these clips seamless and ensures that audio is consistent throughout all of this. Now, of course, the other thing we haven't talked about is the fact that I did do a separate audio clip for this. And one thing that's really important to keep in mind is that right now it is still probably utilizing a different audio source than we may want from the video. So I can check this just by right clicking the given portion of the multicam and looking at the active audio angle. And in this case, I can see it is using the audio captured from the shotgun mic on my main talking head portion. But if I flip this to three, we will now be using my lav microphone. And as you can see here, we have the active audio angle now represented by that green square there and the active video angle as we kind of pan across here represented by the blue square on top of the multicam window there. And this should make editing a lot easier say than if we tried to match all these separate clips up and cut them up separately. Now I did also talk about the fact that we wanted to do sort of a picture in picture effect for that screen capture angle. So it is not just necessarily the screen of my laptop, but also could maybe show my talking head as I'm speaking in the corner of it. So I wanted to talk about how we could set that portion up with respect to doing another multicam that includes that angle as well. So specifically here, because I know we want to make this out of my talking head video, we want to make this out of the screen capture portion, and we want to make this again out of our audio source. What I'm going to do is again, select all of these clips here, but instead of making a multicam clip, I will right click on them. And I'm going to say to synchronize clips here. In this case, we'll call this synced clip just for this purpose. And what you're going to notice here, again, much as it was important in the multicam case, is we're going to use audio for synchronization. And just like with the multicam setup, although we won't have the ability to necessarily switch between things, we will still have all of the different clips synced up with each other, and this will make it easier when we try to make that picture-in-picture -picture effect. And so let's hit OK. And so now we can see we have a synced clip, which is what we just created. So now that I've zoomed out on the project below, let's actually bring that synced clip in. Now, much like when we expanded the multicam clip previously, I'm going to double click on the sync clip here. 
And again, just as I punch in a little further, this shows all of the different sources synced up to each other. Now, as I noted before, the difference is here we can't cut between these sources, but we can still create a picture-in-picture -picture out of them just by doing a couple of simple adjustments. So I'm going to select the talking head portion because I know I want that to be smaller with respect to the screen capture. I'm going to just go here and I'm going to do transform. Now, once I have this selected, I can start to drag this around and minimize it and try to form a specific place where I think this will be good on screen. So let's just try that for right now. Now, if I take this and do Command Shift 7 just to remove the multicam window that we were using previously, once I start playing this back, you can see that I now have a picture in picture version where the talking head is overlaid on my editor as I'm going through the process, and the audio here would be synced up for this as well. Now, again, because I want this particular sync clip to use the lav mic audio, though it's a bit different because I can't select an active audio angle, I can just essentially bring down the level of the audio here and just leave it present on the lav mic source, which is this separate audio track down here. Now again, because I did apply the transform to the first portion of the talking head, I would need to apply to the second. So again, I can utilize Command C, and then on the second clip, we want to copy that different transform to Command Shift V. And I will deselect the volume option here, but I will copy the position and scale over. And now, as you can see with the second portion of the talking head video, we have this now synced up in a picture in picture view as well. Now, there's a couple of additional steps here we'll want to do if we want to make this part of a multicam sequence. Because right now, we've adjusted the sync clip to where it behaves as though we want, but we still can't cut to it with that previous multicam that we made. So now that I've gone back to the project and I've gotten out of the more granular look into the sync clip, I'm going to just place my cursor over the sync clip, right click, and we'll do a new compound clip. And so we will call this PIP example, just to show the picture and picture angle that we want. So now we have a truly specific picture and picture angle that we can use to create another multicam with. So really bringing this clip into another multicam setup is going to be a lot like what we did before. Now in this case, I still want to preserve the talking head as angle one. I want to preserve that original angle, which is just the screen capture as angle two, but I want to actually make this picture and picture version angle three and then change audio to become angle four. So we'll make a couple of adjustments to facilitate that. So I'm going to select picture and picture example here and again, for camera angle, we're going to say this is going to be camera angle three. And specifically, camera name, we will call three as well. And now we're going to go back to our audio clip, and we're going to actually change this slightly so that it is camera angle four and camera name four. So now let's recreate the multicam clip and see what we get. Again, I'm going to hold down the command key and just select all of my different clips here that I want to include within the multicam. We will right click on that and we will do a new multicam clip. I will call this one Multicam PIP. And then again, we will ensure that we use audio for synchronization. And we'll let Final Cut Pro go through the process of synchronizing all the different camera angles. And so now you'll see we have an actual Multicam PIP option. So we have our original Multicam we created, which was Multicam example. We have that synchronized clip, which is the picture in picture example, which we use to create a separate picture in picture angle. And then the Multicam picture in picture Multicam setup that combines all of these. So I'm actually just going to clear out the entirety of what's in my project right now and remove that. And we're going to drag down this new multicam picture and picture setup. What I will do in this case is again, do command shift seven to bring back the multicam window. And what you're going to now see as I go across these is the fact that, well, we have camera angle one, which is the main talking head. We have camera angle two, which is just my editor and the screen capture of that. And then we have camera angle three as I cut to this, which is the editor matched up with my talking head portion. And again, much like before, this shows us our current audio angle is angle one. We have our current video angle, which is angle three. And if I wanted to, again, I could just select this and choose by right clicking an active audio angle, which could be any one of these clips. And of course, continue changing our active video angle as we make cuts and go along the timeline here. So really that is a run through on how to do multicam and set up also a little picture in picture workflow within that multicam setup. Now, hopefully this video has been of some help to you. Feel free to leave a like and subscribe if it has. I'm definitely planning on doing more Final Cut Pro tutorials in the future and feel free to check out those that I've already made that are currently on my channel. That is all I have to say. So thanks for watching.